homologous series is a family of compounds with the same general formula, similar chemical properties. You may need, may need to work out the general formula of families which have a functional group. And in this case today, we are going to be looking at the family known as the alcohols. The functional group found in alcohols is known as the hydroxyl group. This can be represented by the letters OH. So you can work out the general formula for any family by firstly identifying the functional group. And in this case, we can see that all of these molecules have an OH, which is our hydroxyl group. So we want to write out the molecular formula using the carbons, the hydrogens, and putting the hydroxyl group out. So we have C2H5OH, C3H7OH, C4H9OH. We then want to stack the molecular formula on top of one another. And we want to use the CNH2N rule for working out the ratio for carbon to hydrogen atoms in the molecule and add and subtract in how many we need. So if we follow the rule CNH2N, two carbons times two is four. How do we get to five? We would plus one. For three carbons, three times two is six. How do we get to seven? Plus one. Four carbons times two gives us eight plus one to give us our nine hydrogens. And then we put the functional group outside. So the general formula for the alcohols is CNH2N plus one OH. So we have to look at some of the properties of alcohols. And the first one we're going to look at is flammability. Alcohols are used as fuels as they are highly flammable and burn with very, very clean flames. We will revisit the burning of alcohols in the energy for fuels topic, but this is a diagram of how you would set up this experiment in the lab. The second property we're going to look at is the melting point and boiling point. So here we've got ethanol, propan 1 ol and butan 1 ol Using the National 5 Chemistry Data Booklet, I have identified the melting points and boiling points. And what we can see from this is that as we go across and increase the size of the alcohol, we can see that the melting point and boiling points increase. Now this is due to the increasing strength of the intermolecular forces. We'll go into this in a bit more detail at higher, but if we have more atoms, there are going to be more electrons and therefore more intermolecular forces. The next property we're looking at is solubility. Alcohols are often used as solvents, and this means that substances can dissolve in them, so they are doing the dissolving. Methanol, ethanol, and propanol are miscible with water, meaning that they can dissolve readily. So this is alcohols with one, two, or three carbon atoms in their chain. When we start to increase the carbon chain length from there, so four carbons onwards, the solubility decreases as the size of the chain increases. This past paper questions from the National 5 2014 written 8B part 2. Name the functional group present in this alcohol. We can see that it's got an OH and this is known as the hydroxyl group. This past paper questions from the National 5, 2018, written 16A part 2. Thiols are a family of compounds containing carbon, hydrogen and sulphur. Suggest a general formula for this family. Now, although this is not related to the alcohols, it's still the same procedure. Firstly, identify the functional group. We can see that it's the same, that's not carbons and hydrogens in the full structural formula. We isolate those and that's the SH. We then write the molecular formula, counting the number of carbons and hydrogens first. So we've got CH3SH, C2H5SH, C3H7SH. We start off with our CNH2N. For the first one, one times two is two. How do we get to three plus one? For the second one, two times two plus one would give me five hydrogens. So that formula works for that. And for the third example, 3 times 2 plus what gives 7 plus 1. 
So the general formula for the thiols is CnH to N plus 1 SH. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2014, multiple choice 13. Which of the following alcohols has the highest boiling point? You may wish to use your data booklet to help you. Clearly from selecting, we can see that butam 1 has the higher boiling point. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer C. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2018, multiple choice 14. Which of the following alcohols is the least soluble in water? So that's the one that would not want to dissolve in the water. Remember, as we increase the carbon chain length, the less soluble in water it becomes. Butan would have four carbons, hexan would have six carbons, pentan would have five carbons, and propan would have three carbons. So the correct answer to this is the one with the most number of carbon atoms. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B.